Welcome back, curl friends, to another episode of BSS Look for Less. So today we're collabing with Some More Love TV to bring you guys our go-to natural texture wig. So she went out and grabbed her favorite go-to natural wig and I'm going to share my review on this hair today. So luckily she got her hands on the brand new ever so popular bubble wand wig that I always wanted in a color 1B30. So here's a preview of what she picked out. So be sure to check out her video after this video to see all of the specs and details on that wig. So if you enjoy hair videos and wig reviews like I do on my channel that are affordable, you will definitely fall in love with her channel. So I'll have her link in the description box below as well as on the screen right now. So you guys have seen this hair featured in my DIY curly wig no closure video as well as how to style a curly wig video. So today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the overall review, my pros, my cons on this hair today. So the hair that we're talking about today is from Sensational. This is their Premium 2 Shorty Collection. It's a collection of wavy and curly textures, really, really short textures, about nine inches in length. And like I said, they have a variety of textures to choose from. Super, super affordable. It won't break the bank. So I grabbed the Sensational Premium 2 Shorty in the style corkscrew. Now I was contemplating on getting either the bohemian curl or the corkscrew curl but I decided that the corkscrew curl matched my texture exactly. It reminded me so much of a twist out so it was definitely going to be my go-to hair for this curly wig. So I grabbed the corkscrew in a color 1B30 just like some more and I grabbed two packs. So the texture of this hair is a curly pattern. It is very very similar to African American hair. Very very tight curls and it mimics a twist out like no tomorrow like this legit looks like a twist out to me or even a small perm rod set the quality of the hair is 100% human hair premium blend so it's pretty much a step up from the synthetic hairs it's still a synthetic blend but it is a step up from actual synthetic hair so you can expect this hair to last a tad bit longer than your average synthetic packs of hair so as with all of the premium to shorty collection you will receive three pieces of hair which is pretty much about three bundles and they're all gonna be nine inch so three bundles is just enough to get most of your wig done but you will need a second pack to get a full install so this is great hair for like clip-ins you could buy one pack to create some clip-ins just to add in some color or texture to your hair or even some a little bit of body to it but if you're gonna do a full install you will need two packs this hair retails for about $11.99 a pack after two packs it's about $24 or so after taxes so it still does not break the bank and it's still less than 25 bucks so now that we got the specs out of the way let's get into my pros and cons so you guys know I create created a wig with this hair. As with any synthetic hair, I highly, highly suggest that you do not get it sewn in. I will only sew in virgin or unprocessed hair because I know for a fact it will last a little bit longer. But you guys know I'm a wig girl, so I'm, I'm totally for the wigs. But when you get synthetic hair, anything that is less than $50 for the hair, nine times out of 10, it'll be a much better investment for you to sew it down on a wig cap. That way it can last a bit longer. You won't be wearing it every single day or sleeping on it. So this hair did last me a little bit longer than the average consumer so keep that in mind so I did create a no closure wig this is a full-blown wig no closure whatsoever and I've been rocking it like this ever since one of the pros of this hair is that it is a synthetic human hair blend so unlike the synthetic hairs that start to mat up and frizz really really badly this hair does not do that it definitely gets some frizz to it and some body to it but the frizz is not to a matting texture like it's just the curls are still super super tight it just looks like a twist out that's Old. To me personally, I feel like the older the hair gets, the more natural it looks. It looks exactly like someone's natural hair. The color is on point. I absolutely love this color. Um, they did an amazing job with this color. It's not too orange, not too bronzy looking. It's like the perfect blonde, honey blonde color. And it, I think it complements my skin very, very well. You guys have agreed in the comments as well. If you were to go for this hair, I would totally recommend getting some color added because it's just it's really, really cute and funky. Another pro to this hair is you get a lot in one pack. I did mistakenly buy one pack to begin with and I sold down my wig and I really just needed a second pack just to fill in 
in the leftover spots but I did get a good decent amount in just one pack of hair which was like I said about $11.99 for one pack. It's really really easy to manage. It doesn't really call for too much. It doesn't get tangled at all to me. It's a, a decent enough length to where the curls just kind of clump together and they don't get matted up or tangled whatsoever. I've had this wig pretty much everywhere. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not have a box to put it in so I've just been like throwing it all over my room. It's been everywhere and you can see it still looks good. I can still bring it back to life. <laughs> but other than that, I have absolutely no cons for this hair. I think it's some amazing hair for $12. Like I said, if you want to keep it as a long-term wig, a go-to wig like I do, <laughs> go ahead and sew it on that dome cap. Create a wig with it. Don't sew it down because like I said, when you lay on it, you sleep on it, those curls kind of like get messed around together. It's synthetic hair, friction. It just ends up getting really, really matted really, really quickly. And like I said, if you want it to be a cute little hairstyle just to switch up, sew it on that dome cap and make it last a little bit longer. So like I said, I have absolutely no cons for this hair. I absolutely love it. It is my go-to wig. You guys have been loving it. You guys love the color on me and I'm starting to feel it too. I really like the color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look for less. Like I said, don't forget to check out my girl Some More Love over on Some More Love TV to check out that bubble wand wig. Oh my God, it's so bad. It's just, the hair angels just not working with me right now. But go ahead and check out Some More Love's review on the bubble wand wig she got it in a color 1b30 as well so check that out be sure to use the hashtag bsl4l on social media to show me your looks that you recreated from the series as well as any of the wigs that you guys see about that you would like to see on the show so i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one